What's up you guys, it's your girl Asia aka Boss Beauty and I'm back with another video. So today I did this look. This is going to be my first fall look and I think it came out so pretty. Really like, you know, soft pink, lavender, stuff like that. So yeah, this is going to be a get ready with me and I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Asia. I love if you stick around and click that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to like and comment what you think about this look. And before you leave, don't forget to follow me on all of my social media. I'll be on social media and y'all need to follow me. It'll be in the description box down below and on the screen right now. Sometimes I'm mystery, sometimes I'm free, depending on my mood or my attitude. Sometimes I want to roll or stay at home, walk in country. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Baby Skin as the primer. Rub that in. Now I'm moving on to eyebrows. I'm using the Anastasia Dip Brow in the color Ebony. So I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. My eyebrows are pretty full, but you know, they could be better. So I'm just filling in the little sparse areas. This is the fastest I've ever done my eyebrows like in real time. It only took me like five minutes. This is Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Tan Sand. I put two little dots underneath my eye. This makes it so that I don't use too much concealer because it's like really easy to use too much concealer under your eyebrows. You really don't need that much and I learned that. So yeah, that's why I do that. I'm just clean it up underneath my eyebrows. So yeah, this is just gonna make them look a little sharper. And I'm gonna blend it out with this brush. And I'm gonna set my eyebrows with e.l.f. Eyebrow Gel. And for foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Foundation. Love it, only $10, you can get it in like any drugstore. I got tired of paying $40 for foundation and this works just as well, so love it. I'm gonna blend that out. And I like to use a brush, I'm not really like a beauty blender type of person, like I've tried it. I don't know, I just like the way a brush blends better. Now I'm gonna take the lovely LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm gonna contour. Well, this is really like kind of bronzing for me. This color is beautiful bronze and I'm gonna put it on my jawline and blend it out. I put it on my forehead as well and my jawline. I said y'all on already, I meant my cheekbones, so yeah, just blend that out and it just makes the skin look, you know, warm and we're bringing back some like warmth to the face. And I'm going to do the other side. For concealer, I'm going to use the same shape tape concealer. I'm going to highlight my chin, my bridge of my nose, my forehead, under my eyes, and a little bit on my lip. This concealer is so amazing. It's easy to use too much. Like, I think I use too much around my mouth area, but, you know, I blended it out. I ended up, you know, fixing it and everything, but... This is really, really, really full coverage and it dries like a powder, if that makes sense. It dries down and it just like sets itself. Like I really don't even have to set it like that. But yeah, this is like really popping concealer. Like it's like $27, but I would really recommend it. And I've had it for a long time. So this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm going to use this to set underneath my eyes and everywhere else that I highlight it. I'm using a small brush underneath my eyes because I feel like it just packs in the powder a little better than a big brush would. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm setting underneath my eyes with this little brush. I'm also setting the concealer on top of my eyes. So yeah, and I'm just like pushing that in to like set it and I'm setting like the rest of my face pretty much everywhere. So this is a lot of powder. I know I'm looking a little, you know, wow, <laughs> wow. So yeah, anyways, 
Now I'm gonna take the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder in the color tan and I'm gonna like go over that just so it can like blend everything and not be so light, if that makes sense. So I'm just blending everything together. And I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. This is in um, Caramel Toffee and I'm gonna set my contour. I'm also going to take that same powder and I'm going to contour my nose with it. I'm using a smaller brush because it's more detailed. So yeah, we snatching that nose. And I also like to bring it up into my eyebrows and just, you know. Now I'm going to take the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia. This is the only palette I use. I'm taking that light purple shade in the palette. I don't know the name of it. It's the only purple shade like that in the palette. So yeah, I'm gonna take that and put that in my crease and really just build and work on that color. So I dip in the palette like a couple times just to build up the intensity of the color that, I, that you see right here. And I'm blending it out as I'm putting the color on. And I'm gonna go back into the color. This is Love Letter, and I'm gonna put it a little bit lower. This is like a burgundy, like maroon color. Really, really pretty. I've never used this color, these two colors together like this, I don't think. So I really like how it turned out. But yeah, I'm just packing that into the crease a lot lower than the first color. Now I'm gonna cut my crease using the Shape Tape Concealer by Tarte. Um, yeah, just cutting my crease, nothing too complicated here just cut in the crease I'm cutting my crease a lot lower than I normally do now I'm gonna take a shimmery shade and I'm gonna put it all over the concealer so yeah just putting that all over the concealer and I'm just packing it on there so yeah And I'm going back into Love Letter just to blend that out and make it so that it stands out more in the crease. Now I'm gonna take Love Letter again. Just gonna blend like the edges. Then I'm gonna take um, Cypress Umber which is that like dark brown shade and I'm gonna put that on the outer V. And I'm just going back and forth between the brown and the purple and I'm putting it underneath my waterline on the bottom lash line also. I really don't like putting, <laughs> I don't like putting eyeshadow down there because it's like awkward feeling like, I always feel like I'm gonna poke my eye out or something. So these are Eyelore lashes. And I'm also going to highlight with Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlighter. So this is also a drugstore brand, so you can find it in like Walmart, Walgreens, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, it's a really pretty highlighter. And I'm gonna blend that highlighter together. So now I'm taking any brown lip liner. This is one from the Beauty Spot Store. I get all my brown lip liners from the Beauty Spot Store because they're like a dollar and they're perfect. Like they work perfect, so. Yeah, girl. I'm going to fill it in. This is a lippy stick by ColourPop. I cannot for anything remember the, the color of this lipstick and it came off of the tube. So I really don't know what color that is, but it's like the prettiest purple, like lilac purple color ever. And I'm just blending it into the brown lip liner. And this is e.l.f. Plumping Gloss in the color Champagne Glam. I'm gonna go over that just because I wanted gloss on my lips. And I'm going back into that purple color and boom, girl, we are done. So this is like such a pretty look. I love how it turned out. You know, I'm getting back into doing colors and like fun makeup and stuff like that. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. Say we want more makeup tutorials because I don't know if you guys want to see makeup tutorials or not. If you do, I will do them and I will post them for y'all. So let me know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> Sometimes I'm mystery, sometimes I'm free, depending on my mood, on my attitude. Sometimes I wanna roll or stay at home.